Welcome to the chapter Electrical Conductivity of Liquids. Here, we perform an activity to know about the electrical conductivity of liquids. Click each tab to know more. Collect the materials such as LED, dry cell, metal pins, rubber cap of injection bottle, distilled water, and connecting wires on the experimental table. Take the rubber cap. Insert the two metal pins vertically in the rubber cap. Make sure that the distance between two metal pins should be around 2 mm and the pins should not touch each other. Take a battery and a wire. Connect one end of wire to one metal pin and other end to battery negative terminal. Take another wire and connect its one end to the battery positive terminal and other end to the LED's longer terminal, that is positive terminal. Now take another wire and connect its one end to the LED's shorter terminal, that is negative terminal, and other end to remaining metal pin and LED should not glow. Press the free ends of two metal pins so that they will come in contact with each other and LED glows. This acts as a tester to check the conductivity of liquids. Pour some distilled water in the rubber cap till the two metal pins are in contact with it. Now observe whether LED glows or not. Repeat the procedure with different liquids and tabulate the observations. When distilled water is used in the rubber cap, the LED does not glow. Similarly, when kerosene, sugar solution, honey are used, LED does not glow. But when drinking water, lemon juice or vinegar are used, the LED glows. We have learned that few liquids like drinking water, lemon juice, Vinegar pass the electric current through them, whereas kerosene, sugar solution, honey does not pass the electric current through them. We also notice that LED glows in few cases and does not glow in few cases. When the liquid allows the current to pass through it, the circuit is completed and it is called closed circuit and LED glows. Then we can say that the liquid is a good conductor. When liquid does not allow electric current, the circuit is incomplete, open circuit, and the LED does not glow. Then, we can say that the liquid is a bad conductor.